Which vein should be avoided due to proximity to major arteries and nerves? A. Median cubital. B. Cephalic. C. Basilic. D. Dorsal hand vein. Answer, C. The basilic vein is close to the brachial artery and median nerve, increasing the risk of complications. A popped glucometer consistently gives low readings. What should the phlebotomist check first? A. Reagent expiration date. B. Patient diet. C. Tube additive. D. Tourniquet position. Answer, A. Expired reagents or strips can produce inaccurate results and must be checked during QC. What personal protective equipment is mandatory during a blood draw? A. Face mask. B. Gloves. C. Lab coat. D. Shoe covers. Answer, B. Gloves are the minimum standard to protect both patient and healthcare worker during blood collection. Which tube is collected first according to the standard order of draw? A. Green. B. Lavender. C. Light blue. D. Blood culture. Answer, D. Blood cultures are collected first to avoid contamination from additives in other tubes. During venipuncture, what indicates the needle has entered a vein? A. Sudden resistance. B. Blood flashback in the hub. C. Patient flinches. D. Tube becomes warm. Answer, B. A flash of blood in the hub confirms venous access. Why is it important to gently invert tubes after filling? A. Prevent dilution. B. Mix additive properly. C. Cool the specimen. D. Avoid tube breakage. Answer, B. Inversion ensures the additive mixes thoroughly with the blood, preventing clotting or inaccurate results. Which POCT result requires immediate reporting to a provider? A. Glucose 95 mg per deciliter. B. Cholesterol 180 mg per deciliter. C. 5.2 Indian rupees. D. Hemoglobin 13 G slash DL. Answer, C. An INR of 5.2 is dangerously high and may lead to bleeding. It must be reported urgently. What is the best site for a heel stick on an infant? A. Medial arch. B. Posterior heel. C. Lateral plantar surface. D. Top of the foot. Answer, C. The lateral plantar surface avoids bone injury and is safe for capillary collection. When must a phlebotomist label tubes? A. At the nurse's station. B. After leaving the room. C. Before collection. D. Immediately after collection at bedside. Answer, D. Labeling must occur in the presence of the patient to ensure accuracy and prevent mix-ups. Which step is critical in preventing healthcare-associated infections, HAIs? A. Double gloving. B. Hand hygiene. C. Wearing a lab coat. D. Using alcohol pads. Answer, B. Hand hygiene is the most effective method to prevent transmission of infections. What should a phlebotomist do if a patient refuses a blood draw? A. Proceed anyway. B. Document the refusal and inform the provider. C. Ask a coworker to try. D. Wait an hour and try again. Answer, B. Patient autonomy must be respected. Refusal should be documented and reported. A hemolyzed specimen can result from A. Shaking the tube vigorously. B. Underfilling the tube. C. Using a wide gauge needle. D. Drawing from a warm site. Answer, A. Excessive shaking damages red blood cells, causing hemolysis. What is the main goal of quality assurance in the lab? A. Reduce staffing. B. Improve patient satisfaction. C. Ensure accurate, consistent results. D. Speed up turnaround time. Answer, C. 
QA ensures reliability and validity of lab testing across all phases. Which document outlines how to handle chemical exposures? A. QA Manual B. Incident Report C. MSDS Safety Data Sheet D. Infection Log Answer C. The MSDS provides safety info on chemical hazards and first aid procedures. Which behavior violates patient confidentiality? A. Discussing results with a physician. B. Recording info in EMR. C. Talking about patient results in the hallway. D. Verifying DOB with patient. Answer. C. Confidential information must not be discussed in public areas. A patient has a known latex allergy. What action should the phlebotomist take? A. Proceed using standard gloves. B. Cancel the procedure. C. Use non-latex gloves and notify staff. D. Ask the patient to bring their own gloves. Answer. C. Non-latex gloves must be used and the allergy noted to prevent allergic reactions. Which of the following can cause failure to obtain blood during venipuncture? A. Tourniquet too tight. B. Bevel of the needle against the vein wall. C. Use of evacuated tubes. D. Patient in upright position. Answer. B. If the needle bevel is pressed against the vein wall, blood flow may be obstructed. What is the function of EDTA in a lavender top tube? A. Accelerate clotting. B. Act as a preservative. C. Prevent platelet aggregation. D. Bind calcium to prevent coagulation. Answer, D. EDTA binds calcium, an essential clotting factor, thereby preventing clot formation. Which of the following is considered a CLIA waved test? A. Blood culture. B. Glucose via glucometer. C. Hematocrit by centrifuge. D. ABO blood typing. Answer, B. Glucometer testing is simple, low-risk, and approved for use outside complex labs. What must be done when collecting specimens for chain-of-custody testing? A. Use expired tubes. B. Avoid labeling in front of the patient. C. Maintain documented evidence of handling. D. Deliver the sample by hand to the nurse. Answer. C. Chain of custody requires strict documentation to ensure sample integrity and legality. Which tube color is typically used for coagulation studies? A. Lavender. B. Light blue. C. Gray. D. Red. Answer. B. Light blue tubes contain sodium citrate, which preserves coagulation factors for testing. A patient begins to seize during blood collection. What is the first step? A. Hold the patient firmly. B. Remove the needle and protect the patient. C. Finish collecting the sample quickly. D. Call security. Answer. B. Patient safety is the priority. Remove the needle and prevent injury. What should be done with a mislabeled specimen? A. Label it after the fact. B. Submit it with a note. C. Discard and recollect. D. Correct the label with initials. Answer. C. Mislabeled specimens must be discarded and recollected for patient safety and test accuracy. Which of the following is a quality control measure in POCT? A. Cleaning the glucometer monthly. B. Using new lancets each day. C. Running control solutions to verify accuracy. D. Repeating results manually. Answer. C. Control solutions confirm that the device gives reliable, accurate results. When performing a finger stick, what should be avoided? A. Ring finger. B. Lateral side of finger dip. C. Milking the finger. D. Using warm compress. Answer. C. Excessive squeezing can dilute the sample with tissue fluid, affecting results. 
What is the maximum allowable depth for a heel stick on an infant? A. 1 mm B. 1.5 mm C. 2.0 mm D. 2.4 mm Answer. C. 2.0 mm is the safe maximum depth to avoid bone injury during heel puncture. Which situation requires contact precautions? A. Tuberculosis B. Influenza C. MRSA wound infection D. Chickenpox Answer. C. MRSA in wounds requires contact precautions such as gloves and gowns. Why must tubes be filled to their proper volume? A. To avoid using multiple tubes. B. To save storage space. C. To ensure the correct blood to additive ratio. D. For ease of transport. Answer C. Under or overfilling tubes can affect test accuracy due to incorrect additive ratios. Which tube is used for glucose testing and prevents glycolysis? A. Green. B. Lavender. C. Gray. D. Yellow. Answer. C. Gray top tubes contain sodium fluoride, which inhibits glycolysis for accurate glucose results. When collecting blood from a patient within four, where should you draw from? A. Above the four site. B. Same vein as four. C. Opposite arm if possible. D. Directly from the four line. Answer. C. Drawing from the opposite arm avoids contamination from four fluids.